Hi guys, welcome back. Let us solve the gas loss uh, quiz questions. There are about 30 of them. Most of them are repetitive pattern. All of them pattern is under gas loss. La. But uh, math could be tough for some of you. The only option that you got is practice it more. The good thing about gas law is root 3, root 2, in the math or tough on a math. So, by doing pattern, you will be alright. Okay, let us go to question number 1. Equal masses of methane and oxygen are mixed in an empty container. So, one container is equal masses of methane and oxygen are mixed. The fraction of the total pressure exerted by oxygen is. So, we have our question 1 equal masses of methane and oxygen are mixed. Okay, let us say, say x grams and I am going to take methane, oxygen, x grams, x grams, what is the moles x by molecular weight, okay. molecular weight is so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 correct. So, this is x by 32. Now, to make it equal, I can make it 2 x by 32, okay. it is the same thing 1 by 16. Now, the thing fraction of total pressure exerted, basically the fraction of pressure exerted, they are talking about which one? By oxygen. So, fraction of dear Kumbhulaka, we know that P total is pressure because of methane plus pressure because of oxygen. Pressure because of R correctly, partial pressure is basically the pure pressure times mole fraction of methane plus pure pressure times mole fraction of oxygen. Correct, this is what you are going to see. Now, we do not need to look at all this, okay. This is to calculate exactly pressure when they give you pure pressure. This is much rather simple, the fraction of total pressure, okay. Our total pressure in our fraction of NK Kramer. For now, look at the moles, okay. Look at the moles 2x by 32, x by 32. What is the ratio of moles? So, I have 2x by 32 is to x by 32 that implies 2 is to 1 ok. So, either 2 mole or 1 mole or total and 3 moles. What is the mole fraction of oxygen? 1 mole oxygen divided by total is 3 moles. Mole fraction of methane is 1 mole divided by sorry 2 moles divided by 3 moles. So, this will tell you the fraction basically this is the mole fraction. The fraction is also the amount of pressure that is going to be given by oxygen. So, in the room the oxygen no methane is there, moon la one baga on the oxygen, moon la rendu baga on the methane. Now, what is the contribution by oxygen na unga kekranga? Now, very simple, total pressure times, what is the pressure because of this times 1 by 3rd plus total pressure times 2 by 3rd will give you the total pressure itself. Here they are talking about what is it that is just because of oxygen that is going to be 1 by 3rd option is delta, straightforward. So, this is delta. The RMS speed of the molecule of a gas of density and pressure. So, what they have given you is they have given you density. So, I did not particularly do it in the lecture because of giving you all the formulas is not going to be useful to you. You will memorize the formulas. Instead, we can always get density from this PV equals nRT. P equals N by V RT. N by V in a moles over volume concentration capital C RT. Okay. It can be done this way or moles in a panel mass over molar mass times RT by V correct. Weight by volume is density. So, that is going to be density symbol is rho RT by molecular weight. Now, RMS speed of a molecule of density so much and pressure so much. So, now what is new RMS? So, I told you square root of RT by molecular weight your MPV is 2 average is 8 by pi RMS is 3. So, now what do we want here? We want RT by molecular weight. RT by molecular weight is what? RT by molecular weight equals in the side of the pressure divided by density. You have these two numbers put it here you should get your answer. So, you are going to get beta. I am not going to be solving you, you have to get used to the numbers ok. You guys have to get used to the numbers. So, I will show you the pattern so you can get used to the numbers. Third one we can actually do it here. 
they are asking you the root mean square velocity of one mole of monatomic gas having molecular mass m is nu rms they are just giving you a symbol what is the relation between average kinetic energy of gas and nu rms now what is the kinetic energy 3 by 2 rt so here they are telling you the kinetic energy symbol they are giving you is e just e ok e equals 3 by 2 rt i also know nu equals 3 rt by m molecular weight correct so i can tell you either in the end of now that implies rt equals 2e by 3 can you put the 2e by 3 here so nu rms equals 3 times what is rt 2e by e 3 in the molecular weight record. so now do you have square root of 2 eb by molecular weight you have your option charlie ok going into question number 4 a gaseous compound they have given you the percentages of all of them under the like conditions of volume is given see i am not even looking at the numbers on the numbers mukhi mail and i'm the pattern there in nmr question in a calculate for a other way till now numbers are meaningless so whatever volume is of x diffuse through a pinhole and the same volume of h2 diffuse to this what is the molecular formula so now when you look at it it's actually a not an easy question but not very tough either now we're going to molecular formula of x correct they are asking about molecular formula of x now how do i know what is the formula i know in a molecular weight to effusion diffusion which a gaseous compound x so now what do we know about gaseous compound they are telling you under like condition 30 centimeter cube of x diffuses through pi volt ok they are telling you volume. So, we know that rate of diffusion rate 1 by rate 2 equals square root of molecular weight 2 by molecular weight 1 it is class le the formula ok. Now, let us say x and h2 na marthu karo. Now, one time na sol 25 seconds and 4.81 seconds. So, they are not telling you the time. So, I have to convert the rate into amount by time under like conditions 30 centimeter cube of x diffuse through a pinhole in 20 so 30 centimeter cube divided by 25 seconds rate is amount by time hydrogen and the same volume 30 in 4.81 seconds equal square root of now 1 i have taken as x correct so this is molecular weight of x this is molecular weight of hydrogen which is 2 right. So, now what do I have basically denominator of denominator goes to the numerator. So, I have 4.8 divided by 25 equals square root of 2 by x how do you solve it you can take it 1 by 5 correct roughly that is more than enough when the square root of cancel put on I get square control. So, I have 1 by 25 1 by 25 equals 2 by x x equals 50. So, this is the molecular weight of the compound, molecular weight of the compound, they are asking you molecular formula ok. So, now they say person carbon, person nitrogen, person hydrogen 44.4, 51.9, 3.7, I am going to make everything a little bit higher ok. Now, how much little bit, math particularly those who are good at math, this is the best way to do. 33.7 is 4 a round number. 0.3 Roughly little less than 10 percent. 3 to 10 percent is 0.3. 3.7 to 10 percent is 0.37. Roughly that is 10 percent is 4. Now, this is 10 percent is 51 52 to 10 percent is 5.2. 51 plus 5 56. Is 10 percent, 10 percent na 4 point something, add panna 48. Roughly, I have not changed anything, ok. Approximate panna. Nya bora kai panna ma, we did this in mole concept. How to get the moles or mole ratio divided by molecular weight? So, this is 4. So, this is going to be 4. This is going to be 4. Alright, ok. Now, what I am trying to see here is the logic which is which one seems like the right molecular formula 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio Charlie Matanarka you can do that if not we can also do this now 
சி ஃபோர் ஹெச் ஃபோர் என் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் எடுத்தோமா ஹண்ட்ரட் கிராம்ஸ் அப்போ இப்போ ஃபிஃப்டி கிராம்ஸ் என்ன வரைக்கும் சி டூ ஹெச் டூ என் டூ சார்லி ஓகே ஹட்ஸ் ஒன் வே ஆஃப் டூயிங் அதர் வே ஆஃப் டூயிங் இட் இஸ் எனக்கு மோல் ரேஷியோ தெரியும் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் எம்பிரிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா சி ஹெச் என் இதான் எம்பிரிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா வாட் இஸ் எம்பிரிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா வெயிட் டுவெல் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ப்ளஸ் ஃபோர்டீன் ஓகே டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் எம்பிரிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா வெயிட் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் மாலிகுலர் ஃபார்முலா வெயிட் இஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி ஸோ மாலிகுலர் ஃபார்முலா வெயிட் விட பை எம்பிரிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா வெயிட் வில் கிவ் இ தி என் ஃபேக்டர் ஓகே இட் வில் பி டூ அப்போது எம்பிரிக்கல் ஃபார்முலா டைம்ஸ் டூ வில் கிவ் யூ மாலிகுலர் ஃபார்முலா ஸோ சி டூ ஹெச் டூ என் டூ ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் சார்லி த சேம் கொஷன் நம்பர் ஃபைவ் ஈக்குவல் மாசஸ் ஆஃப் தீஸ் த்ரீ கேசஸ் ஆர் கிவன் இன் ஐடென்டிக்கல் கண்டிஷன் த ரேஷியோ ஆஃப் வால்யூம் ஆஃப் தி கேசஸ் ஈக்குவல் மாஸ்னு கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஸோ வாட் யூ கேன் டூ இஸ் எக்ஸ் 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 ஈக்குவல் மாஸ் ஸோ எக்ஸ் கிராம்ஸ் ஆஃப் H2, O2, ஓ டூ மீத்தேன் சம்டைம்ஸ் எக்ஸ் இஸ் குட் சம்டைம்ஸ் ஒன் கிராம் இஸ் குட் சம்டைம்ஸ் தெர் இஸ் அ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் நம்பர் தட் இஸ் குட் ஹியர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் நம்பர் டசன் மேட்டர் ஸோ ஈக்குவல் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க தே எவ்ரி திங் ரேஷியோ வால்யூம் ஸோ நவ் வி நோ தட் அவகாட்ரோ லா டெல்ஸ் மீ வி இஸ் ப்ரொபோஷனல் டு என் அப்போ ரேஷியோ ஆஃப் வால்யூம் என்ன மோல் ரேஷியோ கண்டுபிடிச்சாலே போதும் ஏன்னா மோல் ரேஷியோ தான் வால்யூம் ரேஷியோ ஆகணும் பர்சன் இது வந்து ப்ரொபோஷனல் டிசிம்பிள் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் த மோல்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் எக்ஸ் பை மாஸ் ஓவர் மோலர் மாஸ் எக்ஸ் பை டூ எக்ஸ் பை தேர்ட்டி டூ எக்ஸ் பை டுவெல் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஓகே ஸோ நவ் யூ கேன் டேக் த மோல் ரேஷியோ வாட் இஸ் த மோல் ரேஷியோ திஸ் இஸ் த மோல் ரேஷியோ மல்டிப்ளை எவ்ரி திங் பை தேர்ட்டி டூ ஸோ வாட் யூ கெட் எக்ஸ் பை தேர்ட்டி டூ டைம்ஸ் எக்ஸ் பை டூ டைம்ஸ் தேர்ட்டி டூ சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் இஸ் டூ ஒன் இஸ் டூ டூ ஸோ சிக்ஸ்டீன் இஸ் டூ ஒன் இஸ் டூ டூ சார்லி ஓகே சிக்ஸ்த் ப்ராப்ளம் A bottle of dry ammonia and bottle of dry hydrogen chloride are connected through a long tube or open simultaneously. So let's draw a bottle if you want. Okay, cap bottle. And then we are going to connect them together. And let's say this is ammonia, this is HCl. I am going to open the bottles. are open simultaneously meaning ore nerathil open pandringa at both ends while white ammonium chloride is going to be formed so ammonia plus hydrogen chloride will give you ammonium chloride which is white in color adu enga form agunu kekranga now very simple let's say for example you are going to run this way your friend is going to run this way from your home you are going to go from he or she's home they are going to come where do you meet you don't always meet at the exact center ena oru thorumoda speed adhigama irukum la adhe dhaan inga molecular velocities we know all our speeds are proportional to molecular weight square root of molecular weight meaning inversely proportional sorry inversely proportional appa weight adhigama unda slow va travel pannuvanga weight idhukku enna irukum 14 15 16 17 35.5 plus 1 36.5 so what happens this travel slower so idhu ivlo dhuram varra nerathila idhu ivlo dhuram vandrum so you basically form the white stuff closer to the heavier gas in the, in our case is hydrogen chloride so it is beta okay going to problem number 7 the volume temperature graph of given mass of an ideal gas at constant pressures are shown so volume versus temperature charles law okay what is the correct order so now they have given you this doesn't really matter avanga inge koduthirukanga what the graph is telling you is it actually obeys charles law from here inge vandha nam extrapolate pandrom anga nam panna mudiyadhu because when you keep going lower and lower these are ideal gases fine but the real gas than are mostly so condense agar much molecular interactions takes place so nama patha graph la inge one potu idu or temperature it is zero kelvin that's all it doesn't really matter now they telling you p2 p3 p1 okay, this is volume now you can do two ways now i can take this particular temperature edavadhu or temperature podala avungale line kuduthirukanga so this is v2 V3, V1. So I know my V2 greater than V3 greater than V1. So how does it do it in terms of pressure? Boyle's law, inversely proportional. So my P1 greater than P3 greater than P2. You have your option alpha. Question number eight. Compressibility factor is given. for van der waals okay for van der waals one they are asking you we know that pv by nrt equals z also we know that p 
plus an squared by v squared v minus n b equals n r t for n moles of a real gas. If z is the compressibility factor, one was equation at low pressure, pressure come here, upper in a in our volume, adhigam arke. Okay, pressure come here, either paka ringa, volume adhigam arke, volume adhigam arke modu, the volume correction is zero. So, n b poi down arke. So, b is not going to be in the equation. Option a is wrong, c is wrong, d is wrong. Option is beta. That is the faster way. Let us even solve it. So, I have this, I am going to multiply p v plus a n squared by v equals n r t ok. So, now what I am going to do is I am going to take it to the other side p v equals n r t minus a n squared by v. Now, divide everything by n r t p v by n r t equals n r t by n r t is 1 minus a n squared by v n r t this goes away ok. This is nothing but z. So, z equals 1 minus a n sorry a by v r t ok. So, I think an n is missing right yeah probably an n is missing that is ok we will put an n here or we can take it as probably the equation given is for 1 mole does not really matter 1 mole are the one one so we have z equals 1 minus a by v r t. Do not memorize these, some books ask you to memorize, they give you, you do not need to, you can always derive it in the problem, one month, three other, one need, one version need. In the mari, one other chapter, in the same way, you memorize it, you make sign mistakes. So, it does not take you much longer. Okay, question number 9. Too simple, they are giving you three footballs filled with N2, H2 and helium. Nu of N2, H2, helium. We know that nu is proportional to 1 by square root of molecular weight. Okay, let us put the actual molar masses. So, this will be following this 1 by square root of 28. Both are same. We can put the square root here 1 by 2, 1 by 4. Now, what we can do to see the numbers are not given as fractions 1 by in something could class. So, I have to get rid of this. So, I will multiply everything by square root of 28. So, multiply by square root of 28 square root of 28 divided by square root of 28 is to square root of 28 divided by square root of 2 is to square root of 28 divided by square root of 4 ok. This is 1, 1 is 2. Now, you can say it is square root of 14, 1 is to 14 is to 7, 7, 1 is to 14 is to 7 ok. We still have the square root though. So, we have option alpha. Okay, moving on to question number 10. Pressure of 1 gram of an ideal gas at so much temperature is found to be this. So, pressure could the tongue at mass could the tongue 27 degrees. When 2 grams of another ideal gas is introduced in the same flask at the same temperature, the pressure becomes 3 bar. Find the relationship between their molecular masses. Okay, so now I know A is 1 gram 2 bar b is 2 grams. Now, imagine the container of a size marala, 2 bar and 3 bar are marala, appa you don't have pressure in our pressure because of b is 1 bar. So, total is 3 bar ok. So, now they are telling you find the relationship between molecular masses e v equals n r t or we already know we rearrange this. So, this equals mass over molar mass to control law then you can do this. So, you will have R T by molecular mass times V, correct? Mass over molar mass, so sorry, mass over molar mass R T by V. Now, we want molar mass, molar mass equals R T times weight divided by molecular mass is gone, so P V, ok. So, now, I am going to compare the molar masses. They are asking in the ratio, right? molecular mass of B divided by molecular mass of A equals pressure is constant. So, if you want we can do this R T W by P V of B divided by divided by P V by 
R T W of A because A is there. Pressure is constant, right? Oh no, sorry. Pressure is not constant. Volume is constant. R is constant. T is constant. Correct. They have not changed the temperature. So this is what we have. So what is the weight of B? Two grams. What is the pressure because of B? One. Times what is the pressure because of A? Two. What is the weight of A? One gram. So M B equals four times M A. Option is beta. Okay. Question number eleven. The temperature at which oxygen molecules have the same root mean square velocity as that of helium. New RMS of oxygen divided by new RMS of helium equals. What's new RMS of oxygen? Square root of three RT by molecular weight divided by square root of three RT by molecular weight. This is for oxygen this is for helium now i can cancel my r i can cancel my 3 but my temperatures are different my molecular weights are different they say these two are equal so this is 1 okay some people how they do it is this equals this up one side idu one side idu pannalam both are same so now basically what i have one equals this or idu in the pakkam kondu varalam and i can get rid of the square root right if you want i'll do it in steps so square root of t by molecular weight of helium equals square root of t by molecular weight of oxygen the temperature at which oxygen molecules have the same root mean square as helium at 300 kelvin so helium ku vandu 300 koduttaanga i can get rid of this so what is my temperature of o2 i can take the molecular weight to that side so 300 divided by molecular weight of helium is 4 times molecular weight of o2 is 32 Okay, are you okay with me so far? So, eight times three hundred is twenty-four hundred Kelvin. So this is delta. Okay. Now going on to question number twelve. Calculate the total pressure in a mixture of eight grams of dioxygen and four grams of dihydrogen confined in a vessel. Okay. So calculate the total pressure in a mixture of eight grams of dioxygen. O2 is 8 grams, H2 is 4 grams. Okay, so now what can we do? I'm going to show you the methodology. Either in the moles condor lama, either in the moles condor lama. They are asking you calculate the total pressure. So pressure total equals pressure because of E plus pressure because of V. Dalton's law of partial pressures. So let's take this as oxygen, this as hydrogen. So P equals N R T by V. Now do I know N? Yes, R theorem. T is given to us. V is one decimeter cube. One decimeter cube is one liter. So can you add these two? V T equals. So let's take oxygen. What is here? Moles. Moles have been given mass over molar mass. So eight by thirty-two. N R T. T is twenty-seven. Perfect. Three hundred. Volume. Volume is one plus. 8 by 32 r 300 by volume is 1 so not 8 by 32 4 by 2 r value is 0.08 so you can calculate it yourself this should be in bar so option is beta 13 the rate of effusion of a gas is proportional to so we know that rate is proportional to 1 by square root of density or proportional to 1 by square root of molecular weight we know this so or a room irukku and the room la or hole irukku and the hole valiya a is going to go b is going to go which will go faster will depend on the molecular weight we saw that already now what else is going to matter and the gas evlo velila varudha appadina idu renduthukku nadula difference vandu molecular weight vechu varum ore or gas matta paranga adu velila varadhukku adoda property enna molecular weight onna evlo gunda irukanga endradhu rendadhu evlo pressure irukku na if uh, there is a balloon அந்த ரிச ஹோல் ஆர் டயர் பங்கர் ஆனால் எவ்வளோக்கு எவ்வளோ ப்ரெஷர் உள்ளே இருக்கோ அவ்வளோக்கு அவ்வளோ வெளியில் வரும் ஸோ ரேட் இஸ் ப்ரப்போஷ்னல் டு த ப்ரெஷர் அஸ் வெல் ஸோ வாட் வி ஹாவ் ஹியர் ரேட் இஸ் ப்ரப்போஷ்னல் டு ப்ரெஷர் டிவைடட் பை ஸ்கொயர் ரூட் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல் மாஸ் ஸோ ஆப்ஷன் ஆர் டென்சிட்டி தான் கேஸ் ஆர் டென்சிட்டி ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் ஆல்ஃபா 
14. Which one of the following statement is not true about effect of an increase in temperature on the distribution of molecular ok. So, let us just draw this curve ok and then I am going to heat it so it goes this way ok. This is my MPV, this is my MPV. So, what has happened to the MPV? It has shifted. So, my MPV has shifted meaning increased with not I am not really increased it is shifted that is the right way to do. Now, they are asking which is not true the area under the distribution curve remains the same as under lower temperature. MPV total in the curve total in the curve total correct distribution becomes broader correct. The fraction of molecules with most probable velocity speed increases. No, MPV MPV what is the fraction of molecules? Now, this is the fraction of molecules right it is MPV ok. What is the fraction of molecules this? Let us say for example, this is uh, let us for example, say this is 40 upper what is the fraction of molecules no molecule and upper molecule 40 percent. Now, fraction of molecule for this one is this let us say this is 30 upper fraction of molecule and now go So, the fraction goes down MPV shifts to the right and increases shifts to the right now sold So, you are basically making it broader. So, option is Charlie the most probable speed increases it is the speed ok this is the speed correct in the speed on the So, MPV speed the reason is MPV the rate equals square root of 2 RT by M T adhigamana MPV adhigamago. So, MPV increases ok MPV increases, but the fraction decreases this is an important dif difference that you want to remember ok. Let us go to question number 15. 4 grams of oxygen diffused through a narrow hole how much hydrogen would have diffused under identical condition rate 1 by rate 2 equals square root of molecular weight by molecular weight of 2 by 1 ok. So, now I know oxygen and molecular weight I know hydrogen molecular weight now 4 grams up over rate time rate and amount by time. So, oxygen would amount to 3 now you want to convert it to moles you want to convert it to moles do not use it as grams ok grams to use pandra moles thang enna 4 grams of hydrogen 4 grams of oxygen is same illa ana 4 moles of hydrogen 4 moles of oxygen volume one thang. So, rate enna amount by time and the amount in the volume are the correct illa moles are the mass are the correct. So, convert this into 4 grams into moles calculate moles of hydrogen and then grams of hydrogen you should get beta similar pattern we have seen before. 16 the temperature with the most probable speed of CO2 molecule will be twice as that of 50 degrees ok. So, new MPV equals 2 times new MPV at 50 degrees Celsius correct this is what we want. So, what is new MPV most probable is 2 RT by molecular weight equals 2 times square root of 2 RT by molecular weight. So, now what is the difference between them in the T on the 50 degree Celsius correct 50 degree Celsius. So, you add 273 to it ok. So, this will be 273 plus 50 what is it they are asking you. So, square root square root goes away 2 goes away ok root of molecular mass goes away. So, what I have is T equals 2 times square root of 273 323 ok because ok there is not going to be a square root either let me set it up for you guys. So, square root of t equals 2 into square root of this is going to be 323 correct everything else gets cancelled out. Now, I can take the square root away by making this square root of 4 times 323 2, 2 square tomorrow 2 t equals 4 times 323 that is going to be your beta
okay, this is your 16, this is your 17, sorry. Equal moles of hydrogen and oxygen are placed in a container with a pinhole at which both can escape. What fraction of oxygen in escapes in the time required for one half of hydrogen? So, here it says same, what fraction of oxygen escapes in the time required for one half of the hydrogen to escape? So, they are telling you equal moles. So, rate oxygen, rate hydrogen equals square root of molecular mass of hydrogen divided by molecular mass of oxygen. Right away, I am just going into the numbers. Now, what fraction of oxygen escapes in the time required for one half of the hydrogen to escape? Okay. So, up inner kuna, but end me on the ore amount and the equal moles. Up in evlo baki irkun ke kranga. Let's say, for example, you take one mole, up in the baki, or let's say two moles, it's easier than a padi ana one nago. Now, rend the mole at a kran, here over mole poid there. So, micha over mole there, one mole has escaped. Now, calculate this. How much is that? That's all they are asking you. Now, very simple, what is this going to be? 1 by 16. 1 by 16, right? square root 1 by 8. So, basically the ratio at which they are escaping is 1 by 8 times. Apo, 1 mole hydrogen will appear, that time, 1 mole oxygen will appear, 1 by 8 times. That is logic based, that is much rather easier than set it up. If set it up, you can Okay? Question number 18. So, this is alpha. 18 at STP 2.8 liters of hydrogen sulfide were mixed with 1.6 liters of so I do not care about these because I look at gas loss. Now I try to mix mole concept that we have seen a week before and this together. Now they are telling you 2.8 liters of hydrogen sulfide and 1.6 liters. Which of the following gas shows the volume? Following shows the volume of the gas remaining after the reaction. Okay, so now this comes down to ratio of two is to one. Correct? Either in upper either two point eight either kana. How much do you need of this? One point four then the upper. Look at this way. In a one point six irna either three point two the upper. In a kiri illa. Meaning this is my limiting reagent. This is my excess reagent. Okay, up to 2.8, 1.2, the 4 than they have to 1.6 1.4 use of Pachana remaining is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 more liters of SO2 is remaining. Okay, option is alpha. Question number 19, we can do it right here. It's just easy question. The order of root mean square velocity of molecules of H2, N2, O2, HBr. Basically, one, you can, one thing, one way you can do is do the formulas. Up a rate or root mean square velocity is proportional to 1 over square root of molecular weight or the for better way is logic. Molecular weight adhikama irundadana rate kammi arukun, speed kammi arukun, correct? Up a molecular weight kammi arundha, ungulke mean velocity adhikama arukun. Now look at it, arrange them in the order of molecular weight. I know hydrogen is 2, nitrogen is 28, oxygen is 32. So, when you go to HBR, it is obviously more than 32. So, I can say it is going to be alpha. Question number 20. By how many folds the temperature of the gas would increase when the root mean square velocity of the gas molecules in the container is increased from some number to some number? How many folds the temperature would increase? Okay, so now we can say new RMS equals square root of 3 RT by molecular weight. So, ore gas than a solranga, but temperature marada RMS marada, correct? So, I can say, let us put it this way, square panna, nu squared RMS equals 3 RT by molecular weight, temperature in a the term, okay. Now, I have two different conditions, nu to RMS, let us take one condition equals nu to RMS by T, second condition. Now, what all do you know? How many folds the temperature of a gas would increase when the root mean square velocity becomes this to this? So, they are asking you what is T2 by T1, how many folds T2 by T1, you can just do the same and calculate it. You should get the option delta. Again, this is just a math question. Square under the easy, square root under the order. 21. 
a neon dioxin mixture of this contains so much if the pressure of the mixture of gas and cylinder is 25 bar what is the partial pressure okay so now i have 70.6 grams oxygen 167.5 grams neon if the pressure of the mixture is 25 so what can we calculate can you calculate moles oxygen can you calculate moles neon so what i know from this moles there you know they are asking what is the partial pressure of rindimic egg number can i do mole fraction moles of oxygen divided by n total similarly moles of neon now pressure because of oxygen is pressure total times this in a total pressure in a times every fraction mole fraction your oxygen is that's all so now you do this for two times same you replicate for your neon you should get your answer as delta I am not doing the math because I am not there to do the math in the exam hall. So, you have to practice it. An empty round bottom flask at this is heated until it reaches 477. What fraction of air would have expelled out? So, round bottom flask is going to heat. Pannu. Gas will go to the gas. Then, we will go to What we can do is, when I heat it, because it expands, gas expands, not an adiabatic expansion, so it expands. So, it goes out. Then, we will go to the gas. Okay, we have to find that and then figure out how much has gone out. Now, let us see for example, I have temperature and volume. So, we need to look into Charles law. V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Okay. So, Charles law we can do. Now, what we can do is we can calculate V1 by V2 equals T1 by T2. So, that is going to be equal to they given you 273 plus 27 degrees Celsius divided by 273 plus 477 that is going to be 300 by 750 150 table in 2 by 5 so 2 by 5 is left up a very level of 3 by 5 that's your charlie option okay question 23 one mole of n2o4 is kept in a closed vessel it heated when 20 percent is gone the resultant pressure is it's a j old question Okay, it's very simple. Now, one mole of this is kept in a under ATM. N2O4 goes to 2NO2. I have one mole. Okay, 20% on the power composer, 20% of 0 0.2 moles. Then, so 0.2 moles times 2. One mole gives you 2 mole. So, 0.2 mole you such times 2.4. So, here you have 0.8, here you have 0.4. So, add 1.2 moles. 1.2 moles. Now, what we need to figure out is they are asking you what is the final pressure PV equals NRT, P equals NRT by V. Now, what all do we know? N is 1.2, R T is 600 Kelvin and V is given. Okay, now that is one way of doing. Other way of doing is 1 mole on the 1 bar and the 1 mole on the 1 bar and the 1.2 moles have bar, 1.2 bars are come. Now I double the temperature. Pressure is proportional to temperature. Double the temperature. If I know 1.2 under the double on 2.4. That's the fastest way of solving. Not all of you will get that yet. Okay. All right. 24. They have given you the ideal gas and I gave you this curve. Now they are telling you which is the incorrect statement. For gas A, if A equals 0, the compressibility factor is directly proportional to pressure. So, what we have is Z equals sorry PV by NRT. Okay. Now, what is P for a real gas? How do you write it? P plus AN squared by V squared V minus NB divided by NRT. This is Z. Now, look at the equation. If A is 0, compressibility factor is directly proportional to pressure. A is 0, it is 0, up is proportional to pressure. A, option A is correct. If B is 0, the compressibility factor is directly proportional to pressure. No, it is directly proportional to a sum of something, pressure. So, B is wrong, they are asking you the wrong statement. So, option is beta. For gas C, A equals not equal to 0, B is not equal to 0, it can be used to calculate A and B by giving lowest pressure value and intercept Z equals 1. Okay, this is a little bit higher in level for you, it is JE advanced, but still lower value poga poga. We saw this curve. 
even this low value pogo pogo it is close to z equals 1 that's what it means slope of all three gases at high pressure is positive any gas will be positive appa b eppadi koduthirukanga na b eppadi varanjirukanga ungalku a eppadi varanjirukanga correct and then c eppadi irukku so a is high positive c is high how do you see b is high they have not given you but i told you in lecture adu all gases it is going to be positive at higher pressure okay that's what it means so the correct incorrect option is beta 25 at 27 degrees celsius the ratio of rms well as of oxygen to ozone too simple very similar to something like this okay just molecular mass ozone ku oxygen ku vera maar irukum 26 is a important one the temperature of a gas is raised from 27 degrees to 277 927 similar rendu me neenga vandu kelvin ah maathunga you will get the option delta 27 So 26, Charlie. Delta. I am not doing it because it's a repeating pattern. Muna dey pani thoda. A sample of gas occupies 100 mL. Volume kurtu thanga, temperature kurtu thanga, pressure kurtu thanga. When the volume is changed and pressure is changed, what will be this? So very simple. P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. So they have given you 100 mL. Convert this to Kelvin 27 na. 740 ஃபார்ட்டி மில்லி மீட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் மோக்ரி இந்த சைடில் போகும்போது எயிட்டி மில் செவன் ஃபார்ட்டி வாட் இஸ் தஸ் இன் கெல்வின் அந்த ஆஸ்கிங் யூ இன் டெம்பரேச்சர் இன் செல்சியஸ் இங்கே ஸோ கெல்வினில் கண்டுபிடிச்சி அதை நீங்கள் செல்சியஸாக மாற்றணும் மைனஸ் டூ செவன்டி த்ரீ ஆப்ஷன் இஸ் சார்லி டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் டூ மோல்ஸ் ஆஃப் அன் ஐடியல் கேஸ் அட் ஃபைவ் ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் ஆக்குபைஸ் ஆஃப் வால்யூம் ஆஃப் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் லிட்டர்ஸ் த ப்ரெஷர் மஸ் பி ஓகே லாஜிக் வச்சு யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் இல்லைனா வெரி சிம்பிள் P equals nRT by V. So I know that Kelvin got the wrong, either got the wrong. What is if two moles? What is this? Two. So what are you need to get straightforward answer? So this is alpha density of a gas. Got the wrong. The pressure remaining of when at which of the following temperature will density become this? Okay. Twenty nine. density of a gas kodutanga pressure remaining constant at which of the following temperatures will the density okay pv equals nrt p equals w by mw rt by v it is the density so this equals density rt by molecular weight equals p they're telling you pressure being constant pressure being constant at which of the following temperatures the density will become 0.5 so i can say density 1 okay equals pressure molecular weight by rt correct density equals this so density 1 equals or you can set it up easily one one the 1 atm is d in kodutha the second one is 0.75 d okay we can do this way for example this is 1 divided by density 2 equals same numbers இப்போ என்ன மாறும் ரெண்டுத்துக்கும் டென்சிட்டி ஒன்றுக்கும் டென்சிட்டி டூக்கும் இது ஒன் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க இது பாயிண்ட் செவன் ஃபைவ்னு கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஓகே தட் இஸ் தேர் இங்கே ப்ரெஷர் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் இருக்காங்க ஸோ கீழே வந்து நம்ம எழுதணும்னா ப்ரெஷர் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஒரே கேஸை பற்றி தான் பேசுகிறோம் மொலிக்குலர் வைட் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஆர் இஸ் அ கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ஒன் ஓவர் டி டிவைட் பை ஒன் ஓவர் டி இஸ் டி டூ பை டி ஒன் யூனோ ஒன் ஆஃப் த டி இஸ் கால்குலேட் அதர் டி சுட் பி சார்லி ஐம் கோயிங் ஃபாஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு கெட் திஸ் ஃபாஸ்ட் initial volume of a gas is 750 if the pressure of the gas inside changes from this boyle's law p1 v1 equals p2 v2 i think i have played all right okay i try to do pretty much all the pattern in this quiz that you can expect from gas laws it's an important one because even revision time there is nothing much more than this pattern it is done neatly varum je il varum je il vandu the only thing that is more added nowadays okay recent enna uh, na வேண்ட் வால்ஸ் ஈக்குவேஷனில் ஏபி கொடுத்துட்டு என்னென்னு கேட்பாங்க அதர்வைஸ் இட் இஸ் ப்ரெடி ஸ்ட்ரெயிட் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஓகே ட்ரை டு ஃபிக்ஸ் யூர் மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் அண்ட் டூ இட் ஒன் மோர் டைம் த டஃப் கொஷின்ஸ் அலோன் ஓகே கைஸ